understand hip mechanics perfectly now. All you need to do is know how, how heavy a patient weighs and if their glute medius is weak, right? Not really, but kind of. So, um, in fixing a painful hip patient, could you improve their scenario by reducing that? Yeah, absolutely, because that changes the whole formula. Because this side is less, now this side can work less. So yes, losing some weight would help you, Mrs. Jones, Mr. Jones, okay? But also carrying your, your bag on, which side? The painful side to pull you up and over would help you too. Please carry your laptop on this side. This formula is really key. I, do I measure it? No, I don't. But you just, if you, if you have them on the table and their glute medius is weak and they got near foot pain, do you think you might have to look at the hip to fix it? Probably. Probably. I say you got to fix everything. I mean, truly. Because everything can cause everything. So, that was frontal plane. Now I'm going to play some mental aerobics with you. Okay? You are standing. All of your torso body mass is sitting on a round ball. Okay, so I can go that way, that's a problem, right? I can go that way, that's a problem. Right in between is nice. This is bad, this is good. There's nothing wrong with either one of these. But one of them is harder. Exhibit B. This here is this view right here, okay? You're looking straight down someone's noodle, down through their crotch, okay? There's their hip, there's the shaft of the femur, okay, and the dotted line. So you're looking straight down the joint, all right? Straight down there, okay? Is it easier to do this, watch. Is it easier for me to stand like this? Pelvic obliquity here or here? Puts off the ground on both. Which is easier? So which one is harder to hold? Harder to hold is internal. And I'll tell you why in just a minute. Does that mean this is easy in the gait cycle, but this is hard? Yes. Okay. This is easy, requires very little work. This requires more work. Why? Because the moment arm changes. Look down this hip. Right there. Sacrum. Sacrum. Femoral head. Pubis, okay? Look straight down there, okay? If I am externally rotated, is my body mass coming closer to the head? There's your line. If I am externally rotated, this is drawn backwards, okay? So the glute medius moment arm to here is short. As I step forward and do this, this is arced out to here. This thing is carried maybe to there. Look at my moment arm now. Okay? Here's the spot. Here's the hip. Almost on the same plane, right? As I step forward, look how long that lever arm is from here to here. Can you see that? This is why you guys would probably want to move in. But from here to here, look at that distance. Okay? Off of this line here, look at the distance. From there to sacrum, if this is externally rotated, that sacrum is right here. The distance is right there. If this moves forward, my sacrum is out here. There's your distance. Stand on this leg. Okay, so let's get him into his glute medius. So, squeeze here. here. Okay. Squeeze. So his hips on top of his knee, is on top of his foot. Nice mechanics, right? Let's give him bad mechanics. Hip is outside the, the foot and knee, correct? Bad mechanics. There, that is a nice position, okay? You tell me, is this easier? Okay, or is... 
<laughs> so, take the hip. Now bring this glute back. Compare that, okay, to this. Now, oh, no, see, he wants to move his foot. <laughs> Put your foot back. Good. Foot does not move. Hip. Come to here. Good. Keep going forward. Keep your torso forward. Okay? Compare that. Now, look at his hip position. You guys can help me right here. I don't want to see him move this way. As he comes forward here, you're going to see that want to go this way. So I'm going to keep my thumb there. Can you bring that forward, please? You're going to have to use the cane. Bring this, leg bring this hip forward, but don't push into my thumb. Is that harder? Is that harder to hold? Yeah. Yeah. And you even, let me make it, let me touch there. That's where you need to be right there. Is that harder? Yep. Does it require more ab? A little. Compared to yeah. that. It's way different. Well, but this here. It's a simple pattern, but to come to here, my lever arm is increasing, increasing, increasing. So what do you think patients are going to do who don't have enough glute medius and abdominal? They're going to try and monkey with that. How? They're going to try and move that over. So you're going to see this. Fine. Nothing changed. Still easy. Here's the principle I'm trying to get to you. You can cheat through using your abdominal and your glute medius as a pair by, watch, I'll just stand, and I'm going to drop frontally this way, but watch what happens. I create internal rotation by a fake out. This came forward, and I didn't do anything. All I did was cheat the glute medius. I didn't use my abdominal and my glute medius to come through. So on the patients who are a little weak over here, you're going to see a, you're going to see a little frontal deviation over the weak side. You're going to have to catch it. It's going to be hard to catch. So what you do is you look at their foot, the outside of their foot, and you see, um, I have uh, some pathology on my right side. Okay, so watch what happens. I'm going to be, this is completely honest. I'm going to face you guys, and I'll face you guys. This side is very easy for me to hold that line, hips over the knee and over the foot, and I can bring you all the way across and hold it. Okay, I'm using a ton of abdominal to hold that. I can use less if I go to here. Okay, but I drop. This side here, I don't have any, uh, I've got some pronoun problems on this side. Okay, I can come across right there. I'm gonna try and bring across, and I'm gonna try and still, I'm already gripping with my feet, by the way. Can you see that move? I can't hold that up. I cannot hold it here. I can do it if I go this way. But do you see that happen on this side? My torso? I can cheat it on this side, but I have to lean here to hold it up. I cannot bring this through without doing that. So the moment you see a frontal plane cheat on one hip, you immediately have to think glute medius or abdominal. Okay, and you know which phase is harder. It's the follow through. This is easy because the lever arm is very close on the same plane sagittally. It gets harder and harder and harder and harder as I come through. Thank you.